Welcome everybody to another video with me. Today I will be unboxing this package that I've just received in the mail today from Sarah's Vintage Paper. Uh, she has a shop over on Etsy and on eBay and she sells vintage paper, ephemera and goods. Um, so let's get into it. I just wanted to let you know that it has taken some time to get here to Australia from the US. It's been a couple of months. Um, so I did have a sneak peek to try to remember what it was I purchased and I just wanted to show you here this most beautiful packaging with this clear wax seal. It's such a lovely little collage Sarah. I think I'm going to have to take that entire thing out and put that straight into my journal. I'll do that another day. So here I've got some little freebies by the looks of it. Let's have a look at these and then we'll get into the snail mail package. I'd love to hear from everybody to see what your favourite pieces of ephemera to use on snail mail in your journaling. What's your all time favourite thing to use? I really can't decide. It kind of changes every day. I've got Sarah's card there with a little note and some little paper circles here good for layering and we've got some tickets and coupons precocious a precocious child will give answers to questions that seem beyond his ability <laughs> some little tickets all different shapes sizes thicknesses colors what fun little freebies and a little tear away paper pad here that's been stapled on the back of a playing card that's a great idea so simple thank you Sarah let's pop this over here and we'll have a look at what was in the airmail package that I purchased. Well, it is all themed red, white and blue because that's what the airmail envelopes are themed like. So I've got some gummed labels here. I like this. I've not seen a label that says don't crush. So that's quite fun. A vintage parcel label. some airmail labels well, this is quite fun four different airmail envelopes now, I can actually use all of these for mail They're all different this one I can still use I can just put an Australian stamp down here um, which still covers the postage it doesn't matter that that's up there or alternatively I can pop some ephemera in there or decorate this and make this like a little parcel on its own to slip inside some mail. This one's very large and it's quite thin. Oh, I'm not sure if you can see that but it's got little envelopes all on the inside which is very sweet. We've just got some different types of paper here. Some plain note paper, which I can decorate and use for letters. And some notepad or ledger paper. I quite like ripping this off and using this as the paper I write the address on, on front of mail. So it's already lined. A couple of pieces of onion skin. And a couple of pieces of, it's quite thin, I'm not sure if you can see my fingers through that, but quite thin paper. It is unfortunate this mail did get bent in half when it arrived, so some of the papers are quite crushed, which is unfortunate, but at least nothing got actually folded. I should have put this on the front. And then we'll just have a look inside this little ephemera packet here as well. 
is the other part of this airmail kit. The little glycine envelope. So I've got a couple of just little gummed labels. And some vintage postage stamps in the same colour. A label, you can put your return address on there. It's gummed as well, which is always handy. Another postage stamp, a registered mail label. All for out of town delivery. Please tie securely, twine preferred. I have no idea what that is for. I'm assuming that's something that the mail system would have used and tied everything together. And this is a larger airmail label. So compared to these ones, it's double the size. And then just some little stars here in the same color thing as well. That is all absolutely beautiful, Sarah. I can't wait to start using this for my mail and to put some of it in my journal and just to play around with some of these little freebies as well. And also for giving me some inspiration on this absolutely beautiful packaging. So that's going to be everything from me today. If you have any questions, please let me know. I will leave Sarah's Etsy shop link below as well for ease so you can go have a look. She does have some amazing uh, packages and at the moment I know I saw on Instagram she has some vintage Halloween paper packs out as well. We don't really celebrate Halloween here in Australia but they do look like a lot of fun. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.